This is Kimmy. I dressed a little more conservative. I do have some jewelry on, necklace on. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I'm in my jean skirt and just a regular blue top and pantyhose. And that's about it for me. Um, one of the reasons why I I wanted to dress a little bit more like this is because this week I wanted it to be a little more serious because things have um, been quite serious with me and it's been very emotional and touching this week so I wanted to share that with you um, in my last video uh, around that time I found out um, that there was going to be a documentary about uh, Charles Bono and I mentioned that in the credits of my last video to for everyone to watch it and I was going to talk about it so here I am I watched it I watched um, the interview on the Oprah uh, Winfrey show so I have a few things I'd like to say about it. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, uh, I don't remember exactly when I knew about transsexuals. I can't really think of a point where I said, yeah, that's when I knew. I know I learned more about it when I was 18. Um, probably, I remember watching a movie when I was 16. I forget what it was called, but they showed some operations of um, some transsexuals in Asia. So this was quite interesting to me. And I was like, I think one of the first times that I really understood that wow there was an operation that you can go through for that um, so you know for a long time I only knew about male to female now why didn't I think that there was female to male I don't know maybe because it was so easy to hide that you know, it was so natural for women to wear jeans at that time, to wear suits, um, to do all this stuff that men wear, and nobody really cared because, you know, you would look at them and say, oh, they're, they're a businesswoman, and you wouldn't think, that, oh, they might be a real transsexual. Watching that documentary, and that movie came up um, the boys don't cry and I have to actually say that was the first time that I actually knew that there was F2Ms also I never understood that at all it really really touched me and it made me feel it was like a mixed emotions I felt so sad that he had to go through all that um, through his life not really knowing thinking maybe a lesbian and then really understanding that no 
he's really a man. And I thought that was really emotional, really amazing. Oh, he's still there. I've been watching the second season of Glee last year and this year. Uh, but I didn't see the first season. So this week and last week I was watching Glee season one. And I, I love Glee. It's just... I don't know. I, I always loved uh, musicals, so, you know, this was just perfect. Um, but I do have something to say. Because <clears throat> there is something that bothers me about the show. Okay. And there was a, I think a month ago, or a few weeks ago, I don't exactly remember when, there was this uproar about two guys kissing on Glee and there's this um, famous actress comedian came out and she was saying oh that's disgusting that's terrible and um, you know I have something to say about that because my problem with Glee I think is more important than her problem. Okay. The more important issue about Glee is the cheating, the backstabbing, um, the, you know, teenage sex, um, uh, teenage pregnancy. Oh my god, we can go on and on. Um, it's like almost every show you know, there's a new relationship coming up. I think that's more important. That is the problem with society. You know, two guys kissing is not going to destroy anything. I'm sorry. Okay. Now, of course, that's a new point with me because it is a show and um, it's not really, it's not that big of a deal to me. But it, you know, it's like, come on. And I think it's a, it's a big problem with society with marriage itself too. Um, marriage has become a joke. Uh, it's like you meet someone, week later you get married, and it's like what? E what happened? Um, do you really know each other? No. And then like a month later they get a divorce. So what else? Well, watching um, the documentary on Chaz and um, looking at other stuff and reading up on things. I'm thinking of joining uh, P-Flag because there's a local chapter in Whittier where I live and they meet up really close by so if I ever needed to go to a group meeting I can do that but I think um, it would be good you know to be able to donate some money um, show some support um, maybe get more involved so because I'm looking for something that's transgendered and bisexual and I don't want to get into this well you have to be gay or straight which one are you mm -mm, I don't want that you know I want just to be accepted and you know whatever so I, this is how I feel I'm attracted to women and I'm attracted to guys so live with it am I in denial I don't think so. I'm talking way too much. Right? So we're going to have to say goodbye. I really don't want to say goodbye to you though. I'm just like, 
I just want to be here, you know, be with you, we can watch movies together, okay.